There are many heroes in the MCU, but did you know that one of them is a god? Behold, the savior of the Nine Realms, the protector of Midgard, the god of thunder, Thor. Welcome to the Crop Top Critic. I'm Alex and I love everything movies, TV, and geeky related, and I want to share all that magic with you. This is part 3 of my MCU Beginner's Guide, where you will learn all about Thor's origins, abilities, and fun facts that will help develop your future passion for the MCU. Created by Stan Lee and Jack Kirby in 1962's Journey into Mystery, Thor was born to the Earth Goddess Gaia and the King of the Asgardian Gods, Odin. Under Odin's mentorship, Thor was trained to one day lead Asgard by going on dangerous missions across various realms, making himself worthy of Mjolnir, a hammer of great destructive power and the title of God of Thunder. Due to Thor's short temper and battle-ready mentality, he accidentally broke a peace treaty between Asgard and the Frost Giants, threatening them both with war. To teach him a lesson in humility, Odin banished Thor to Earth and transformed him into a regular human named Dr. Donald Blake and then erased all of his memories of being Thor. I don't know how a person is supposed to learn their lesson if you erase all their memories, but whatever, I'm not a parent. When Earth was being threatened, Odin compelled Donald to go to Norway, where he encountered hostile aliens, so Donald fled into a cave where he found this old walking cane, which he attempted to use to escape. But when he struck the cane onto a rock, it turned into Mjolnir and it transformed Donald back into Thor, restoring all of his memories and power. While stuck as a human, Thor developed a love for Earth and dedicated his life to protect both Asgard and Earth, or Midgard as they call it. In the MCU, Thor is played by the unnaturally muscular Chris Hemsworth, and his origin is slightly similar to the comics. Just like the comics, Thor's need for battle and glory causes him to attack the realm of the Frost Giants, and that puts Asgard on the brink of war. As punishment, Odin strips Thor of his hammer and powers and banishes him to Earth, but unlike the comics, he actually gets to keep his memories. While on Earth, he meets and falls in love with the scientist Jane Foster, and after a while, he starts to grow accustomed to being on Earth. Romance with Natalie Portman will do that to you. However, his evil brother Loki sends an Asgardian robot called the Destroyer to destroy Thor and invade Earth. In an act of selflessness, Thor sacrifices himself to rescue Jane and his new home from the Destroyer, and that leads to him being worthy of his powers again. So Mjolnir comes back to him, grants him his power, and then he's able to destroy the Destroyer, defeat Loki, and save the world. With his new love and appreciation for Earth, Thor vows to protect it from all threats. Now Thor is not just some buff dude with a hammer, he is a god of thunder, and that comes with a ton of power. So powerful, in fact, that he has to hold a lot of his power back, because if he doesn't, he could possibly destroy everything in the near vicinity. He's no joke. Due to his Asgardian physiology, Thor has abilities that go far beyond the average human. Heck, even beyond the average Asgardian. He has superhuman durability, speed and agility, an incredible healing factor, and immense strength. Thor is so strong that he's easily able to overpower a horde of frost giants, crush the armor of Iron Man, destroy the Destroyer, which is supposed to be indestructible, and break out of a cell that was specifically designed to contain the Incredible Hulk. Thor is a good friend to have if you need help moving. With the help of Mjolnir, Thor is also capable of flying at speeds so incredible that it's barely seen as a blur to the naked eye. And of course, being the god of thunder, Thor has control of electricity. Through his hammer, Thor is able to channel electricity so strong, it was able to kill two of these giant leviathans and destroy an entire city that was falling out of the sky. Cities fall from the sky in a superhero world. You get used to it. Eventually, Thor is able to create electricity without Mjolnir and is even capable of creating giant storms that can wash away his enemies. It's, it's awesome. The most iconic thing about Thor, though, is his weapons, such as Mjolnir, an enchanted hammer that helps Thor greatly focus his powers. Mjolnir has a spell on it that only allows those that it deems worthy to have the power of Thor to use it, so this prevents just any random person from stealing. <clears throat> Mjolnir also has other perks, such as weight manipulation, so to Thor, it feels incredibly light to use, whereas anyone else, it will feel impossibly heavy. The hammer could also be thrown great distances, and it always returns back to Thor when he calls for it, going through anything in its path. 
Mjolnir can transform any of Thor's clothing into battle armor, and it could disguise itself as a random object such as a cane or an umbrella. It even has the power of resurrection, restoring the once dead back to optimal health. But they have to be like recently dead though, like he can't save a rotting corpse. Thor later switches out Mjolnir for Stormbreaker, a battle axe that can do just about everything that Mjolnir can do, but just a bit better. It also had the bonus ability that allows Thor to teleport to any point in the universe at will. Do you understand yet why Thor is just so cool? If not, here are 5 fun facts that will convince you why you should put respect on Thor's name. BFFs with Hercules One of Thor's most trusted allies and heated rivals in the comics is the famous Greek hero Hercules. These two have teamed up countless times in order to save Earth, but more often than not, they spend a majority of their time fighting each other. In fact, punching each other in the face is how they greet one another. Transformed a Pyramid When the Egyptian gods Horus, Osiris, and Isis create a giant pyramid in the middle of San Diego, it destroys countless orange trees. So in response, Thor threw Mjolnir at the pyramid, it creates a vortex around the pyramid, and then all of a sudden the pyramid turned into a grove of orange trees. I didn't even know that was one of his powers, but it's still pretty cool. Thor was a frog. In one story there was a man who was turned into a frog by a witch, and then that frog was given the hammer of Thor, turning him into Throg. While not as strong as the main Thor, Throg still possessed all of his powers, including the ability to control electricity. So just imagine a frog version of Thor fighting bad guys and just how awesome that would be. Two Thors shake the multiverse. Another case to show how ridiculously powerful Thor is, there is a story where two versions of Thor got in a bit of a scuffle and their clash shook not just the entire universe, but the entire multiverse. And these weren't even the strongest versions of Thor. Like I would give these Thors three out of five stars in terms of strength. Imagine what would happen if we got some five-star Thors to throw hands. Jane Foster is the mighty Thor. During one storyline, Thor finds that he is no longer worthy to carry Mjolnir, and he gives up the title of Thor. This allows Jane Foster, Thor's former lover, to pick up the hammer and become the mighty Thor. And despite being human, Mjolnir gave Jane the Asgardian physiology that would make her capable of wielding the power of Thor, so she might not have been as powerful, but she was pretty darn close. But which character or other MCU topic do you want to learn about next? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more, click on the boxes right here, and I'll see you in a bit.